So, the Fontaine preview, entitled Overture Teaser The Final Feast, was released last July 3 and in that video, we finally get to see Chief Justice Nouvellette himself, someone who has captured my heart ever since they gave their well-rounded take on Nahida during her drip marketing last September 2022. With his line, I could immediately infer that he has a strong sense of justice and tends to give rather fair political evaluations, although he is not immune to expressing his personal sentiments on the Hydro Archon who he has worked closely with. But he still manages to come across as a mixture of both diplomatic and honest. This gives off the impression that he is likely competent, smart, eloquent, and rather serious. We can see in the trailer that he echoes a similar sentiment that he did with his introductory line for Nahida, as he's politely telling off folklores with a kind of tension present when speaking to your boss who you don't 100% agree with. The difference is that here, we get a better sense of how he's like through visual storytelling. When we first see him in the video, he's walking likely to the courtroom I'd assume and he has a very solemn look on his face so we can likely infer that he treats justice with a lot of gravity because it's an important and serious matter. Or he could also be visiting a prison probably to get information regarding a certain case or speak to an important prisoner. Either way, he seems to be doing something very important for work. You can also see that he has a sort of game face on, showing that he's preparing himself to face the situation head on. Interestingly, we also see him accompanied by this rather cool, gun-wielding woman who seemed to be guarding him. It's kind of difficult to wrap your head around it at first glance since it's hard to tell if she's attacking him or someone else, but after a few rewatches, you can tell that she's initially walking in the same direction as him but turns around, likely indicating that she's neutralizing a threat to Chief Justice Nouvellet coming from behind. Or it could also be that she was involved in a separate scuffle of her own. It's hard to tell. There's even the possibility that she's actually sneaking up on him. So it looks like we have yet to determine who Chief Justice Nouvellet's true allies are. Regardless, this seems to hint at the danger of serving as Chief Justice in Fontaine, especially since it's the land of justice, so he probably holds the highest position in the entire country, second only to Focalore, seemingly. I didn't initially think that there could be some threats to his life, but yeah, that totally makes sense, considering how his rulings, especially on high-profile criminal cases, could likely incur the wrath of people who were adamantly against his final verdicts. Right now, I can't tell if he's the only justice in the Fontaine Supreme Court because he was the only one shown in the courtroom. But in real life Supreme Courts, there are many justices. If he is the only one, however, he can draw the ire of citizens even more because that would mean his verdicts are entirely decided by him. Or probably, even if there were many justices, people will likely still know who voted for or against a certain ruling. So either way, he might be the target of lots of vengeance or politically driven crimes. Interestingly, in the teaser, Linny mentions that you have to use the right time, the right place, and the right people to control everything. And when he says the right people, it immediately cuts to Honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. So I wonder if someone, perhaps the Traveler, would need to tap into his authority in order to truly influence the politics of Fontaine. It seems as though you have to gain the favor of the Chief Justice in order to get one step closer to shaping Fontaine. Although it might not happen automatically considering he doesn't seem to be someone who's easy to bribe. However, persuading him to come to your side would be necessary to surviving in Fontaine. Other than that, it's not only that he's the right person to get close to, but this scene seems to communicate that even he likely needs to tap into the right people, such as the reliable and badass gun girl, for his own survival. That is if I did understand this scene correctly because it's also possible that she just 
snuck up on him and killed a guard of a courtroom instead. Now, going back to his scene with Focalois, aside from the fact that he politely reminded her to behave, he does also say the trial is not yet over. On one hand, we can take this literally, in that he's saying this specific ongoing trial of a certain case is still not yet done. But on the other hand, he could be hinting at a continuous trial for the nation of Fontaine. There might be more people or cases that are interconnected and he's expressing that justice can't rest just yet, so to speak. I don't speak Korean, but based on my vague understanding of the term, I think the word he used can refer to both trial and judgment. So I guess we can consider the fact that he might be implying that there are still many people that the court needs to pass judgment on. Basically, that his work is far from over, or probably his and Focalore's work. It's likely due to persistent social-political issues facing the nation that will take an incredibly long time to be solved. While those are the only scenes he appears in during the entire teaser, the narration also presents an overarching theme of putting on a show and hinting at the idea of facades. In fact, I'm not sure, but I think it's implied that Focalois treats trials as a form of entertainment. So with Chief Justice Nouvellet being the highest-ranked judge in Fontaine, it can be said that he's the main actor in this play as well. That's not to say that he's a fake person, but that he has to present the narrative behind his verdicts, and he also likely has to keep up this persona of a fair and unbiased judge with a calm disposition even if he might carry some more passionate sentiments deep down. On the other side of the coin, it could also be that the people involved in his court cases are actors and as the judge, he spectates this show and has to determine the truth behind the narratives that each defendant, plaintiff, or witness presents. It's his duty to look behind the facade, basically. To me, all of these interpretations of his two scenes in the teaser hint at the immense difficulties of serving as the Chief Justice in Fontaine. And of course, we all know power comes with great responsibility, but I think with Chief Justice Nouvellet, his sense of responsibility far outweighs his sense of satisfaction from essentially being the most powerful citizen of Fontaine. His face always seems to carry a look of burden, and I think that's his way of expressing his strong passion for justice, by understanding its sheer weight and importance and having that manifest in his sense of duty. With that, I think we can expect him to be an extremely reliable character who acts based on his principles, but is also cracking under the pressure of serving a nation that's riddled with potentially all kinds of social issues. He's obligated to do what's right, and at the same time please both the people and his archon, which are not things that you can necessarily fulfill together. Sometimes pursuing the truth goes against public opinion, or maybe even the public opinion is diverse, so he has to suffer from intense opposition, I suppose. That's why he looks tired, even without eye bags, but it's pretty obvious that he's only wearing concealer. Factoring all of this in, I'm heavily hoping for the moment when he cracks under the pressure and just snaps, showing his true colors to everyone. Not saying that he'll go feral like knowledge capsule high thumb or something, but I would like him to express his true frustrations and his true stances one day, even if it might be considered unacceptable for a chief justice. Some kind of positive rebellious streak might be beneficial in channeling his passion to change Fontaine society for the better. Nahida did tell us that Focalois has some kind of veto power, so if he pushes back against her decision, that could be a form of resistance as well. He doesn't even need to do this in a very dramatic way. He can even express resistance in silence by boycotting something. Who knows? While this storyline speculation might not come true, but I don't think he can disappoint me much seeing how sophisticated and dedicated he is already. I do hope though that he can truly become the beacon of hope for justice in Fontaine and that if he has any shortcomings with fulfilling his role, he'll finally find a way to improve both through personal and professional development. Anyway, that's all for my little ramble about our honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. 
to celebrate his appearance debut. And if you like how I extrapolate on characters' personalities beyond what we can see on the surface, then you might enjoy my other content, so why not subscribe to this channel if my content seems interesting to you. If you're utterly enamored with this mentally, emotionally, and physically tired man, then feel free to like this video and comment your support for Fontaine's Chief Justice. You can also come over on Twitter to scream with me about him as I clutch onto my primo gems until he arrives. That's it for today and I'll discuss more of version 3.8 when I get back. And I'll see you then.